A few hours and drinks later, Will was wasted, doing push-ups to cat calls around him. The man at the far end of the bar, with dim eyes, waited until closed to see the liquor laws were obeyed. Some occupation enforcer of liquor law. Liquor abides no law. The speakeasies were 200 proof. The doorman also sat at the bar, real tall and too thin. Amazing he could bounce anyone, but he did. He gave Will encouragement, pat him on the back like they were on the inside of a joke or had real times together, which they had, hard pressed in the memory. He was talking to a guy who used to own a bookstore of classics on Damon. They were having random conversation. Why don't you prescribe yourself some Valium, doctor? I could, I could. How would you like me to take your appendix out on Demerol? Aren't you forgetting progesterone, Will interrupted? The hormone. It has to do with the uterine wall. Works hand in hand with estrogen. Take his appendix out on progesterone. No, no, no. He takes the hormone. The hormone thins his white walls. Voila! Appendix ejected from the vehicle. Are you a doctor? Internal medicine. I ask the questions. Can I bum a smoke? They cast their eyes on Will as he lit up, and the smoke rose from his lungs to his lips. I'm only human, he told them, and they turned away. He could taste a girl he had kissed and a smoker in the cigarette. Cass. He owned a fine glass ashtray she had stolen from a common room and given to him. And she would ask when she visited, and he would go to the kitchen and clean it and bring it to her. And many smokers passed in and out of his life, like smoke. He returned to the pinball machine in the corner of the bar and played. His reflexes were inadequate, and he realized he was hands up and shot for the night. A young Hispanic man stood behind him. Speaking of his numerous Filipino conquests. Go ahead, buddy, Will said. Grab my ass. Guys are girls, what's the difference? Conquest is a conquest. 